to day five of National Moth Week. So this is Friday, and this is going to be my fifth night of uh, light trapping for moths. I've got the two UV black lights set up, and then I've got this. Um, I just went out and purchased this today. This is a mercury vapor bulb. Um, so this is um, this is the bulb right here. I went and got it at Lowe's. Uh, this thing cost me 20 bucks, so hopefully this pays off tonight. The uh, the white light I was using last night was uh, 1600 lumens, and this one's 4000, so it's roughly four times brighter. So I'm hoping that maybe it'll be four times more effective as well. So we'll see. These ants on it are not making me happy, but we'll see how it uh, how it turns out. What's going on? Also. Um, I did have the light hanging above the sheet, and I moved it out here a little ways away because I'm not sure how hot this bulb is going to get. I would imagine being uh, 100 watts and 4,000 lumens, it's probably going to get pretty warm tonight. So I wanted it to be away from the sheet so things weren't landing on it near it and it wasn't getting hot enough to kill anything. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so here we are at the official start of the night five of National Moth Week. Um, so I had bought a mercury vapor bulb, uh, spent 20 bucks on mercury vapor bulb so that I could, uh, really up my game tonight. Um, yeah, apparently I didn't do my research and I don't have the ballast for this mercury vapor bulb. I bought, uh, I bought the kind that would fit into the, to the lamp, assuming that it would work. But, uh, after reading the package, it apparently needs a H38 ballast. So, I'm going to have to figure that out, I guess. Looks like the rain's pretty much passed, but I wanted to show you guys this kind of a kind of a cool view that I got going on when you look up in the sky. So, it's completely dark, but I guess just the reflection of the sunset over there on the clouds just looks really cool.